Hi everyone, it's the first day of our new read aloud book called El Defo by C.C. Bell. And this is a book about a, going to school and making new friends, which can be tough, but going to a school while wearing a bulky hearing aid, that requires superpowers. Chapter 1 I was a regular little kid. I played with my mom's stuff. I watched TV with my big brother, Ashley, and my big sister, Sarah. I rode on the back of my father's bicycle. Whee! I found caterpillars with my friend, Emma, and I sang. We all live in a yellow submarine, a yellow submarine. But then everything changed. A yellow submarine. Cece! George, do something, hurry. My parents rush me to the hospital. Please help us, she's so sick. I am pulled away from my parents and taken to a room. Somebody sticks a needle in my back. The fluid from her spine tells us she has meningitis. Her brain might swell, but she's only four. I wake up, I'm in a different room. A doctor comes. We need to measure your head. And a nurse comes. This won't hurt a bit. And oh, but my head hurts really bad. The arm prickings and the head measurings are endless. It looks like I'll be here for a while. But after many days of treatment, I am well enough to share a room with another sick kid. Something is different though. But what? I can't quite figure it out. Cece, Cece! Want some ice cream? Huh, I guess she doesn't want any. For one thing, how come I never get any ice cream? The other kid gets it all the time. And why can't Ashley and Sarah come up to my room to talk to me? They might have germs and so they can't come up. And how come the TV doesn't make any sense? Everything is so quiet. It's not all bad though. I get lots of great gifts. And I start to feel better. I put on one of the gifts. It's time to get up. But I can't stand up. I can't even walk. I can crawl though. And after a few days of practice, I regain my balance. I'm feeling so much better. I think I might even be all better. Finally, finally I get to leave the hospital and go home. Miracle of miracles. My siblings are being nice to me. Ashley has made and hidden hundreds of paper boats all around the house just for me and has filled each one with a special surprise. Candy. And Sarah sits close to my bed at night until I fall asleep. I wake up every morning happy and relieved to be home. I stay close to Mama no matter where she is. But suddenly, I lose her. Where is she? I call out, but she doesn't answer me. When I finally find her, I know that everything is different. I think she knows it too. I can't hear. Chapter 2 It's been two weeks since the hospital. Just because I can't hear good doesn't mean I can't look good. I love my bathing suit. I wear it and nothing else, every day, everywhere. I look fantastic. But today it looks like I have to get to rest. I don't want to, but I do. We must be going somewhere special. One hour later, we're in the car. I wish I knew where we were going. Please don't be the hospital, please, please, please. Whew. It's not the hospital. That man sure looks like a doctor to me. The man who isn't a doctor but looks like one shows me a big bell. Then he puts a blindfold on me. Then it gets really strange. The man puts headphones on my ears and motions for me to go inside a booth. I don't want to, but I do. An amazing thing happens inside the booth. I hear a beep, a real beep, 
It's the first sound I've heard since the hospital. And then I hear something that sounds sort of like talking, but it's all weird. Huh? Oh, maybe he said raise your hand when you hear a beep. I'll try that. Beep. Boop. Beep. And then we're done. The man shows me and my parents a chart he has filled out. My parents don't seem too happy after that. Then the man squirts some goop into each of my ears. Ew. And I wait, and I wait, and wait, until the man pulls the firmed up goop out of my ears. And then we're done. Was that a lollipop? What a strange man. Mmm, cherry, my favorite. One week later. Again? Today the man shows me a little box with cords attached to it. He puts the little box in an ugly green pouch, and then he puts the little pouch on me. He puts those funny-looking ear globs, the ones he made last week, back into my ears. Then he pushes a button and adjusts the dial. I eat, 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 I ink, I like, eat, and waddle, one, these. I can hear, but what are they saying? Can you hear me? I understood that. Wow, yes. But how does it look? Um, luckily, the man gives me a beautiful pouch for the little box and another lollipop. Gee, I can really hear, but will I look good too? I can hear myself eating this lollipop. When I get home, I put my bathing suit back on and I put the little box into the cute pouch. I strap the whole thing on. I put the ear globs in my ears and I look in the mirror. Hmm. Not great, but not bad either. Those cords, though. <laughs>